Yo, what up, y'all? It's a trail, and I'm going to show you how you can go and restore or unbreak or whatever you want to call it, your Gear S3 Frontier, the T-Mobile version. So let's get into it. All right, so before we start, do me a favor and look on the back of your watch and look for the model number. So if it says SM-R765T, you're good. But if it doesn't say that, then do not follow this video because you're going to screw up your watch even more probably. So yeah, just just don't do it if you don't got that model number. I'm just saying that right now. If you got a different model number, just look on next DA or something like that for your model number and they should have it on there. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Now, another thing is that there is some things you need to know. So I'll leave a screenshot of the things you need to know. Please read it. It will save you some trouble. Definitely, you do need that information. So just read it real quick. It's not going to kill you. But once you're done with that, go in the description and look for the zip file that you can go and download. It's not that big, but just go and download it real quick. That's all you need to download. I put it all in one zip file just to make it more convenient. And after you're done with that, go and extract that zip file. If you don't know how to extract the zip file, just Google how to extract the zip file on Windows. And then that should help you out. But once that's unzipped, go ahead and go to Gears 3 Frontier, the little folder that you unzipped. And then you'll see two folders here, so go to the Wi-Fi Netodin one and then click the Netodin 3 app on there, and that should open up. Now I gotta say this right now, when I was flashing before, I found out that it kept failing on me. And the reason it did that is because I had a little Bluetooth card plugged into my computer, so what I did was I unplugged it, and it did not fail after that, so... That if, if it is failing for you, I would just say actually just unplug it right now or turn off the Bluetooth if it's like embedded in your computer. Just turn it off. But once you're done with that, go to the BL button right here and then navigate over to that folder you downloaded. Go over to firmware flash and go to BL underscore blah blah blah. And then now load up right quick. Same thing for the other files. So for the AP button, it's going to be AP underscore blah 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 and so on so on. So just go ahead and go through that. Go and fill that out real quick. And once everything look good here, go over to the pit tab right here on the left to go and hit OK right here. Hit the pit button and then hit partition.pit and then you should be good. Now that we're done with that, go over to the watch and it doesn't matter if it's on or off, but go and press and hold on to the power button and just keep holding on to it until it says a restart and option screen right there. Just, just hold on a second. So that's what I'm talking about. Press the button three times. Press it one more time. Press and hold on to it on the download wireless option. And then you should get that. So if it goes away, I will have a link on how to fix that. But it should pop up that. So press the power button two times. And then it should show AP mode loading. And then it says wait for AP connection. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm, I'm going to go over to my computer real quick. I got the charger right here, right next to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the charger just to make sure it doesn't die on me and, uh, yeah, so we're good right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our Wi-Fi settings. So I'm going to go over here and it says SM-R765T. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect right here. And it's going to say connect in, blah, blah, blah. And then it should pop up right there. So that is my watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click start right there. I'm going to go over to the log real quick. And it's going to do this. Now, just... Just know that again, this is gonna take a while. For me, it took like 30 minutes. I don't know how I don't know how long it's gonna take this time, but it's gonna take a while. So trust me on that. So go ahead and get some popcorn, go watch some Netflix or some YouTube. Maybe my YouTube videos if you want to, but just go ahead. Just don't stare at the computer because that's gonna be time wasting. So whatever. Yeah, just just don't. Oh, all right. So it's gonna do its thing. Just come back. I'll be back. So yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm back. And the transfer just finished. Not really though, it did just finish. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just press and hold on to the power button right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this menu to pop up where it says restarting. And just wait for this right quick. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that three times. Press it three more times when it's on the recovery. Go ahead and press and hold on to that. And then you should be all done from there. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and finish resetting and all that there. And then it's gonna go ahead and just boot into the watch. So guys, hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully I unbreaked your watch and all that there because when I break my watch, it definitely was a pain. But yes, yeah, definitely going again. So guys, again, hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if it worked in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions because yeah, I do reply. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.